the RV lady. Um, the sun's not out, it's overcast today, but I thought, you know, I never ever remember to record when I'm doing stuff to the RV. As you can see, I've got the RV covered up uh, for the rest of the summer because I don't plan to go anywhere and the weather's been well over 100 here in, in Northern California. So um, I thought I'd go ahead and just cover her up um, until, or him up, the wizard, can't quite, I don't know for sure yet. Anyway, let me turn you around, let me show you what I've been doing, and I am doing a project on the inside that I've only gotten as far as measuring the stuff I'm going to use, and so I will take you along for that. Let's get turned around. Solar trickle going, and um, not that I live in a bad neighborhood or anything, but you know, just it helps to keep people honest. Um, I went ahead, and today I went to Home Depot, and I purchased some padlocks and um, six feet of chain, and I padlocked it to the side as well. The little light is flashing red, so it's supposed to be charging, um, but I don't know. I don't, you know, the sun's not real strong today, so I can't really tell. Um, my solar is down, so I may end up turning the generator on just to, so I can keep the lights on inside um, while I'm working today, but we'll see. We'll see. The sun's trying to peek out. So we'll see how much this grabs and anyway, so yeah, so I've got it plugged in, got it chained up and we're ready to go. All right, let's go inside. Don't mind the mess. I am I'm still unpacking from my trip and still doing some modifications. Pardon the darkness for a moment. Let me get some lights on. All right, so what I decided was I hate the hanger system that was in here which was this you got this you know you can hang four hang four hangers from uh, each spot or one you know hated it so I decided I wanted to put a normal uh, rod up there so I went to Home Depot bought a tube I just cut it down bought ends this cost me all together to put this rod in probably cost me about eight bucks. The bonus is out of that eight bucks, I might have enough to actually put in a rod in my bathroom for when I, if I need to, you know, dry something and hang it so I don't have to hang it from the shower door because I don't want to warp that. So I'm just at the point of figuring out kind of um, what height I want this at and, um, I'm going to put it a little bit lower, I think, because I think I might want to install a shelf over the top of it. Good place to put some stuff that I don't use very often, but need to carry with me, like owner's manual. <laughs> that thing's a pain in the butt to figure out where to store. So anyway, I mean, I am using actually above my pull out, my slide out for some storage because I just don't slide that thing out. But if I do, I've got to remember that I've got stuff up there. But um, yeah, we're going to do that. And then I'll show you a few of the other things that I've done. So let me go ahead and set you down where you'll have a bird's eye view, I hope. And um, we'll get started. Here's the finished product. Now, <laughs> me being me, I of course cut the, the tube a little short, like maybe mm, half an inch. So. I had some wedges, so I'll, I'll keep it in this focus. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, there you go. So I had some wedges, and I put some wedges behind the pole. So, you know, the pole moves a little bit, but um, it's not going to come out. I'm sorry, not going to come out fairly sturdy. And that's that. So the next thing I'm going to do is when the next time I go back to Home Depot, I'm going to get some, like, little one inch by one inch to make a um, shelf base and then um, maybe buy a pre-made bookcase shelf and slip it in and then I will have a little bit of space up here for, like I said, for the manuals. Up here is my Levelmate Pro. This thing is awesome if you don't have one and if you're self-leveling, um, awesome, works with your cell phone. Alright, so I told you I was going to show you something else that I did. So, I installed a fan. Yep. Now, this is not the same fan I have in my family room, and I think I'm going to switch them because this one actually spins a little faster, so it puts out more air. 
but I have to figure out how to do the wiring. So, um, but right now my wiring goes from the fan. I've got it up here, over here, comes down, and here's where I can put a. So this is for where I could put a TV in my sleep area because there's a piece of wood right back here for a mount. But so I've got you know the a regular uh, AC plug, but. Um, or is that a DC plug? <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, got the little cigarette lighter pluggy thing here. So I've got, I bought this adapter and it just had the two little O things. So the, <laughs> I know this is so jerry rigged. Uh, or is this I called a uh, redneck? <laughs> I'm an Italian redneck. Oh my God. So anyway, so I just got these connected and then held up with two little command strip hooks just so they don't ever come together and touch because I'd hate to short out my battery. So far it's worked great. I've left this fan running while driving and um, it did great. And it's got a little uh, on and off switch. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Uh, I probably should have flipped that over so off was down and on was up, but whatever. And I'm just going to take this out because I'm going to be leaving the RV. You can see it makes a little heart. <laughs> Alright. So that is that. That's my project for today. Here's the other fan that I installed. This one actually um, is better installation wise. So uh, I will say I have broken down, had to put some screws in my roof to hold my little shade. I've got both shade and the little cushion thing. But um, this fan goes down and then down and then down and it plugs into my inverter. So, works great. Alright, well, I think that's all of my projects for at the moment. Um, I have a couple more that I do have the supplies to do them, but I'm not sure I'm going to do them today. So, um, there you go. Alright, I'm going to go back to uh, unloading and putting stuff away and see what else I want to get myself involved in. Alright, well, <laughs> Don't mind my looks. It's, I'm hot. It's hot in here. Um, I've got the fans on, which helps. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for staying to the end. Remember, if you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much. And I'll uh, hopefully see you on the road. Bye.